many people living on the streets in and around Kern County. They don't have access to regular showers, and finding food is a daily challenge. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is in studio with more on a new problem those groups helping the homeless are now facing. Carlos. Kim, volunteers with the Bakersfield Burrito Project feed homeless men and women every Sunday. And for the first time since they started three years ago, volunteers say they are seeing a new trend. Heidi Horton helps feed the homeless every week. They look like just you and me, but they were very hungry. She canvasses Kern County bringing food to those in need and is starting to see more than just adults at her drop-off sites. There are men, women, kids, young kids, six years old, eight years old, and there were adults literally pushing them aside just so they could get, you know, a burrito. And I was like, oh, my God, we have kids here. Homeless children is something she hasn't seen on the streets before, even people living with disabilities. There were women in wheelchairs and, and men in wheelchairs and crutches and whatnot coming up and we didn't get to feel And it broke my heart. And so I literally had to hide my eyes and then when we turned the corner, I cried. And the reason why I cried is not I, because they made it, they didn't get to eat that day because it wasn't fast enough to get to the truck. Volunteers with the Bakersfield Burrito Project prepare warm meals in the middle of Wheel Park to about 200 homeless people a week. This seems to be a uh, meeting place that um, everybody can come to and um, there are a lot of homeless people around this area. Food is donated by generous people from the community. And small fundraisers throughout the year help get them by in order to help those they say live in the dark. There's a stigma to being homeless. And a lot of them feel that, that they can't be out there in public, that they don't have access to laundry or soap, and uh, we make sure that we have hygiene kits to provide that to them. When volunteers are short on meals, they go and buy food items using money out of their own pockets because volunteers say they don't want to see anyone go hungry. It makes us feel grateful for what we have and grateful that we are able to give to other people, and it truly is a blessing, and each person that we come in contact with touches our hearts. And the group spent the weekend raising funds to continue helping the homeless during the holiday season, which they say is a busy time for the organization. In the studio, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC. Kim?